G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament. I'll show you how to jump straight into it. So when you log into BBO, what you want to do is come over to Solitaire Bridge up in the uh, top left here. Click that and then come across to weekly free instant tournament. And uh, let's jump in, see what we can do. All right, so flat 14 count, pass pass to me, nil vol. Um, I'll just open a club. Uh, I can make a support double here. This shows precisely three spades. What is partner's double? Forcing to three no. Ooh, that seems unusual, because, like, what's going on here? My partner's a passed hand is kind of pretty weird. Hi, Sharon, thanks for coming in. Um, they've got 11 high card points. How can they force to three? No, I don't know, but all right. So, um, looks like we've got enough points for game. Uh, the fact that they've raised the three hearts, they like they're two past hand. Oh no, West isn't a past hand. Um, they just passed as an overcall. I was just wondering, do I just want to pass here? Do I think that I'm making three no trumps? I'm pretty sure partner would bid three or four spades if they. Um, had five of them, so partners maybe like a triple four one. Um, they potentially could be meaning to do this as some sort of invitational hand. I find that slightly weird, but like maybe they they mean it as that. But I'm not sure where our source of tricks is, and I'm not sure where the opponents are. Um, I feel like maybe I can just pass this and lead trumps, and they. We'll hopefully go a couple of tricks down. I might go do that. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be the best thing because I'm not totally sure what I expect from partner for this sort of double. A bit unusual, so we'll, we'll give it a shot. And if you ever think that the opponents just don't have enough points for where they're going to be, leading trumps is a fabulous thing to do. General idea here is if they don't have points, how are they going to get tricks? They're going to do trumping. So let's just draw trumps. Okay, so there's just a flat eight count there. Looks like my partner's got a stiff heart. Uh, spades might be five, four, three, one, or four, four, three, two. Hearts, uh, we see that East has king, queen, jack, ten of hearts. So we, I've got six points. Also worth noting, they're a past ten. So they can have like... Uh, four more points outside of it. Maybe they got the king of clubs or something like that. Um, they might have the queen of spades and queen of clubs. Um, having there nine. Okay, so they've got the ten. They've got ten doubleton uh, right there. So what's going to happen is they're going to when they get in. They're going to continue uh, the queen of spades. So maybe I should have won that. Yeah, okay. Really glad that my partner uh, switched there. I want to knock out their ace of diamonds before I can get something on the spade discards. Uh, I could go ace of hearts heart, but I feel like just a low heart still best here. Um, I want to have control of when they can be in certain hands and win that. And I think they have two spades, five hearts, uh, probably three diamonds. Otherwise, I doubt they would have uh, ducked that second diamond. I think they've got two, three, uh, two, five, three, three. Now, uh, we've got a spade to come and a club. I think I just want to come out the diamond now. They can use this eight of diamonds, but I can just trump in over it. So I'll play a diamond and maybe throw a spade away. Ooh, no. Okay, so they had to trump their own winning diamond because they want to draw my trumps for whatever reason. Hi Chess Kudu, thanks for coming in. All right, they draw that. Partner wins the ace of spades and pushes a club through. 
And they are down four? Wow, 100%. Uh, thanks for the bidding insight, says Sharon. Unfortunately, I bid three no trumps and went down. But I think bidding three no trumps is entirely reasonable. I was pretty close to doing that. Um, it's just I wasn't quite sure where our tricks were totally coming from. It felt like a pretty awkward spot. Um, and if Button has got decent points, they're just not going to have tricks anywhere. Um, so if we didn't have a fit, I wasn't sure, like, my issue with, with just ace and little hearts is I knew we had no chance of a second trick. And this auction really didn't look like we'd found a source of tricks here. So no source of tricks, no second stopper. Um, and also, usually I'm happy with just one stopper, but I had this alternative of just trying to pass and penalize. Right, uh, moving on to board number two. Here yeah, I've got a 4-4-3-2, uh, four, four, 12 count. Um, so this doesn't quite fit into any perfect description, but when they open a minor, I don't mind having a short edge and an unbid major, uh, unbid other minor. If you swapped like my clubs and hearts around or something, I would definitely be passing here. Um, that being said, uh, it's unlikely partner will bid the minor, so I'll just come in with a takeout double. I don't really have anything more to say. And we buy it there in two spades. I think this auction went about as well as I could have hoped for. Um, right, like a diamond double, two clubs by the opponents. We've got a nine card spade fit. And if we look back at the bidding, East opened and West bid uh, sort of limited, I guess, um, but constructive bid, nine to 11 total points. So I've got 12, dummies got seven. So that is 12 and seven is um, 19. And then there's 21 missing. East could be an unbalanced 11 count or a 12 count. So if they've got 12, the other one's got nine. So that fits in. Uh, looking at losers from my partner's hand, we've got three club losers. I wanna do some trumping there. Uh, we've got two heart losers and a diamond. So um, I want to trump some of these clubs. I want to guess who's got the jack of hearts. Hearts appear like they're 3-3 three, three or 4-2. Um, they have a big diamond fit, but they didn't actually find it. I'm surprised West didn't just raise. So East probably has like five, six diamonds at minimum. Um I, don't, I want to guess who's got the queen of spades. I don't think anyone's trumping hearts. I'm just going to win and set up my club roughs here. Might find out more information about what's going on. Looks like West has king, queen, jack of clubs. Okay, so clubs are 5-2, and they shift to a heart. Okay, they found the jack of hearts. That's good news. Get a diamond. Ace king of diamonds there. Ace, King of Diamonds, Ace of Hearts. They can't have the Queen of Spades only because this is a best hand tournament. Uh, Ace, King of Diamonds, Ace of Hearts is 11. If they've got the Queen of Spades, their hand would be better than mine. Um, my King of Di Queen of Diamonds can throw the club away as well, or I could just trump it. Um, whatever. So Ace of Spades. And a spade, do they show the queen? They do, so no need to finesse. Um, but I would have, if given the chance. 35%. <laughs> that feels underwhelming for getting to. They cashed their winners. Okay, so. Other people didn't. Taking what other people did. So they won ace at clubs and probably club back, okay. Right. Did I lose something else? That, that's all I lost, right? I lost a club, ace of diamonds. Did I forget to trump something? Why did I not make 10? Probably a better question. What did I do? 
I think I just discarded on my diamond. Okay. <laughs> totally not with it there. I was just like talking. I'm like, cool, cool. Got this under control. And um, yeah, I trumped with a club. Yeah, o always good. So <laughs> lucky to get 35% for that. Uh, so moving on to board number three, and we've got 10, 18 high card points. So I'm going to open a club and rebid four hearts, showing like you could bid three hearts or four hearts. My hands are good enough to bid four hearts, so we'll raise there, and partner's happy with that. All right, uh, we have no hearts unless they're four zero. We have uh, two spade losers. I might be able to trump them. I have two club losers. I can take a club finesse slash lose one. Ace of spades looks like maybe it's a doubleton spade um, or singleton. Anything we know from the bidding? Nope. All right, uh, so we'll just win there. And... Uh, if hearts are 4-0, I can probably... My hearts are good enough to pick it up either way. So my 7 of hearts is good enough. So I just have to guess who I think's got 4 hearts. And I could play like a heart to the queen. And if West shows out, lead the 10 back. And it goes 10, jack, win. Rough a diamond over. Another heart and actually finish. Um... Based on the fact that East led the ace of spades and didn't just overcall a spade, I think that that's a short spade. So if anyone's got a sh void heart, I think it's uh, West. And East might have... East might have four. I don't think anyone's really got it. Uh, two, two. Or rough. Um... Ooh, I might have an extra chance in just sort of like an end play sort of situation. So if I cash my, like, eliminate spades and diamonds and lead a club, and if East doesn't play anything high, I can just duck it to the West player. Or I can just duck the club anyway. So uh, we'll just uh, strip out those suits. There's a club discard, it was the nine. Um, nine, ten, so there's just the jack missing now, so even if that lost, I would have had the uh, remainder. Fifty-three percent. Pretty flat one. <laughs> Everyone's doing the same. Uh, moving on to board number four. All right, uh, here we've got 10, 14 high card points. Uh, nice, easy uh, reopening double. A little bit weaker because I was in just this pass out seat. Partner said, uh, tell me more. So usually they just want to know my cheapest uh, suit. Um, I don't think I need to jump here. So we're trying to still trying to force until we find a fit. My partner's inviting me, so I'll accept. I got 14, I've got like 11, 12. Also, I know where all the points are. They're all in the West Ham. All right, uh, so my partner's got 11 points here, um, opposite my 14. Um, so that's 25, 15 points missing. Um, so West has like 12 to 14. So there's like one to three points in that hand. Um, we're missing a couple of hearts. Um, we're missing, if I, we've got three diamond losers, no, maybe a club loser. That was a singleton, a couple of hearts. Looks like the ace queen of diamonds are likely to be on side. Um, I want to finesse hearts pretty early. I think I just want to win. Uh, I didn't see the eight of clubs there. So if East had jack nine, eight, seven, I'd play like the seven usually. Uh, so I don't think that's a singleton. Uh, if West had ace queen, often they might go up with the uh, ace there. Hey, Libby, thanks for coming in. Right. 
I'm back. I'm not in any rush for a discard here, so we'll just continue again. Okay, there's the nine, so that ace queen third. Interesting. Um, they didn't cash their winner there. So my jack of spades is good. I can draw the trump and throw a diamond away. That club is as a four of spades. Follow here. Okay, so they were just uh, foxing me with jack nine eight seven. Um, so I want to uh, play club to the ace, rougher club. And we'll throw a diamond away. And I'm pretty sure this isn't high, but just in case I miscounted. Okay, and we got to making 11. 92%. Okay, I was thinking some people might not have got to game there. Like, it was a slightly awkward option to get there. Um, club lead. Okay, just taking the clubs too early. Now, the main thing, I think you really need to get rid of the uh, trumps on this one. I could see people also trying to trump spades as another alternative. I think just trying to set up that north hand is like... It, when you've got the 4-4 four, four fit, you can sort of plan from either hand. And it looked like that club suit was kind of already set up. Um, so that's where I naturally went to. Um, so I just needed to get rid of trumps, um, try and set up that club at some stage, lead diamonds. Yeah. Anyway, 92%. So still running at 70%, even though I uh, trumped with the wrong... Um, wrong suit on one board. Uh, moving on to board number five, and we've got a flat 12 count, so one spade, uh, two spades. Uh, I don't have anything extra to really show, but my partner should have a fourth trump here, typically. Fifth five card trump suit. All right, um, and we're still probably going down. Uh, it looks like my ten of diamonds will set up to discard something, whether I get to discard in time. We've got three heart losers, a club, and two diamonds. Um, I want to try and throw a heart on the ten of diamonds. Uh, the opponents have a diamond fit. The king wasn't what I was expecting them to lead. Um, like, does East have like five low diamonds? Okay, yeah, East does. They're just low diamonds. Right. Oh, that's good news. All right, we can take that. And we'll just draw trumps and we'll throw the uh, nine of hearts on the ten of diamonds and lose a club. Nice. 78% for that. Uh, some people got to five clubs. All right, so uh, defended them in five clubs. All right, so they competed to three spades, essentially, and the robots just decide to bid on it over that, which is like pretty random and weird. I don't know why they would do it in when you bid three spades, but not when my partner bids three spades. Ignoring that, I don't think that you've got a good three spade bid. Um, when choosing to defend or not, you want to think in terms of, do you have something that makes your hand really offensive or something that's really defensive? And when the opponents are at the three level, you want something quite offensive uh, in playing to actually want to try and compete. And that's not more high card points. High card points take tricks when, whether you're uh, playing or defending. Extra shape, uh, extra trumps, those things uh, take more tricks when you're declaring rather than defending. Um, so the fact that uh, I've just got this balanced 
and I think it's quite nondescript. I got a decent suit, but I don't have that many points in my suit. Um, like my ace of spades will take a trick in clearing or not. It's really big spade. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't think there's any great reason to try and compete here. But your partner's hand, two extra spades. That's fantastic. That means our defensive capabilities are, are really low on, on this hand, whereas we've got a good chance of taking extra trick. So I think it should be up to your partner to bid on there. Uh, what do we got? We got 15 points, 6 4, so start with the club. And bid my spades, and then uh, one who doubled, let it make. Can they make five clubs? Uh, you get a heart and a club. You have to hold on to all your diamonds, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and bid three clubs. Green it. All right, uh, we've got three diamond tricks after I untangle them, three club tricks, two spades and a heart. So we've got uh, nine tricks off the top. Uh, the diamonds could produce extra tricks if there was like jack 10 doubleton or jack 10 third. Clubs is the most promising. Three, three clubs, doubleton jack of clubs, and I might get six of them, um, which might mean I get up to 12. So. Uh, seven of hearts lead. I definitely don't want to duck anymore because I might have enough tricks. Seven, nine. So it looks like they've led uh, low from queen, jack, fourth, or jack, third, or queen, third. Nine of clubs. I have to let go of the heart. All right, so the clubs aren't coming in for any extra points. That's the jack of hearts. So it's like West has queen fourth there. Hmm. All right, so he says three hearts and two clubs. Hmm. Just wondering if I can do anything unusual like queen of diamonds overtake, king of diamonds, nine of diamonds. So if diamonds were like five, two, West had doubleton jack or doubleton ten, uh, that would net me some extra tricks there. Uh, also, if I had held on to my hearts and didn't throw, um, and if I threw a diamond, I would be able to exit a club here uh, because they would only be able to take one more heart trick. I've been able to unblock here. Um, it certainly looks like East is really trying to hold on to spades and diamonds. Like their entire hand is spades and diamonds. Um, so I think Jack 10 third is kind of unlikely. I'm going to go, oh, actually if, if I don't drop the doubleton 10 or Jack, it's it's going to cost me a trick. All right. Um, what about if can I end play East into giving me extra tricks? So let's say that I've got four diamonds and three spades. I go spade to the king, spade to the ace. They just unblock. Yeah, all right. I, I'm just going to cash out. There will be ways to get extra tricks on this hand. I did not navigate it. Uh, they can have the uh, remainder. Twenty-eight percent. Ouch! That many people making extra tricks. Wow. So let's check out what they did. 
Uh, they opened a no drop. Okay, same auction. Heart lead. Heart back, they went in. Diamond over. Now. All right. Oh, they threw a diamond away. Okay, so I didn't unblock my diamond and yeah but I, I knew i could always unblock my queen of diamonds later so i didn't unblock it early i find it strange that sometimes they throw diamonds away or not um yeah i, I could have netted one extra trick if i abandoned the six of diamonds and kept my hearts and then i could have safely played a club to see what would happen and that would have got me plus one which would have got me 60 percent um, which is something probably worth doing. Like when East, like either the clubs were going to be three, three and I add the rest of the tricks or they were four, two. And I should work on the assumption that they're not doing that. And when I worked on that assumption, I already realized that diamonds probably weren't coming in for Jack 10 third. So maybe I should just go for that. So I, I think I probably should have made that. My recording stuff. Uh, so just a quick recap, I opened a no trump with my flat 16, partner jumped to three no trumps, and uh, we got, I had, um, can't bring up the previous two tricks, but I had the king of clubs here, and ace three of diamonds, and my partner just had little cards, and it was the jack of clubs lead, which I won with the king, and I've got nine easy tricks, and I'm going to work on diamonds. Um, I'm missing the jack of diamonds here. I've already taken the ace and played another one. Um, when you start with seven diamonds, so the opponents have six, the odds say that you should just bang down ace, king, queen. Hope for the uh, jack to drop. So not going to finesse here. I did see the nine appear just before, but I don't see any great reason for that to change my uh, mind there. And we can just build an extra trick here. I want to keep an eye out for any club discards. Okay, there's one club discard. All right, so I can discard another loser here. So I think I might just duck once. It'll give me a better chance to make it awkward for the opponents. So I'll win now. All right. And I... Thinking king of hearts heart to the ace diamond, or should I play... Uh, so I'll go Queen of Clubs, Club Over. Okay, we'll see what's happening in clubs. All right, so West discarded one. My club it still isn't good. But East is let going of spades here. And I want to make... Uh, so East looks like they've got hearts covered. But prone. Three spades. So there were two, four, two, five. I think my eight of spades might be good. I'm just going to go ace of hearts, heart to the king, and see if my eight of spades is good. I think east was the only person with uh, hearts covered. Yes, nice. 100% there. Mm, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> queen jack ten of hearts. All right, so let, let's just uh, walk through that play again. Um, so here's the starting hand. Nice easy auction. One no trump, three no trumps. I had nine top tricks. I wanted to build an extra trick and die. I just won the club and went straight after diamonds. No need to try and finesse here. Um, they didn't break, but I can just set up one extra one. So I threw a spade and threw a heart. In general theory here, I want to keep... Um, like I've got a whole bunch of stuff that's not going to win tricks. I want to keep that in as many different suits as possible so that the opponents also have to keep their winners in as many suits as possible. So you try and like spread them thin. Um, anyway, uh, so I've got three spades, two hearts in the club. So I knew I, if the clubs came good, I had all but one of the tricks. So I duck until that happens. So that's why I ducked that spade and then go up with the ace. So I've got all but one of the tricks at this stage. 
And I want to see, are the clubs coming good? Is my eight of spades going to be good? Or can I make this nine of hearts up in the north hand? So I want communication between the hands, but I also want to see what's happening in clubs. So take the queen of clubs, club over. And at this stage, east is the only person guarding the spades. They're also the only person guarding the hearts. West is the only player guarding uh, clubs. They're not guarding her. Um, but let's say West had a heart on her. As I play my final diamond, if East held on to the ten of spades, I'd throw my spade away, and they wouldn't be protecting hearts anymore. So West would have to do it, and I was pretty much guaranteed to get uh, an extra trick as long as East was the one with the spades. West was the one with the clubs. So cute little uh, squeeze there um, for a hundred percent. So. Back up to almost 70%, one board to go. So here we've got uh, three passes to me, 12 counts. So in the fourth chair, you can use the rule of 15, which says count your high card points and how many spades you got. If that reaches 15, go ahead and open it. So 12 and three spades is 15 points. So I'll open a diamond, you know, invitational. I do not want to accept. Maybe I want to compete to three clubs. So. I really want, wanted to just bail out in three clubs or three diamonds. Three clubs looks like it's forcing. So maybe I go ahead and bid three diamonds. It says I've got six card suit. Wait, the reason I'm considering this is I know the opponents have a nine card heart fit. I don't think I really want to be playing um, no trumps. We'll bail out there. Hopefully my partner's got three diamonds. I've only got two. Three clubs was where I wanted to get to, um, but the robots played that as forcing, so that's why I gambled on three diamonds. Um, looks like in no trumps you'd get a heart, two spades, maybe four clubs and maybe an extra spade. Sort of depends on where the king of hearts is. East has the king of hearts, and also maybe the jack of clubs. It looks like the king of clubs is offside. Um, right. So I think they can go like club to the king, rough a club, but I'm not actually that worried about that. Uh, they can only get one rough. I will need to play on clubs later anyway. Um, and they're probably trumping with natural trump tricks. So I put in the nine of clubs, queen of clubs. Uh, I'll play the nine of clubs. Pretty sure West has a singleton and East has three. Could be four, three, doubleton, but. Um... All right, so they picked up the spades for me. Um, I put the jack on here. I really wanted to be in the north hand, so glad to see the queen come out. And we'll just duck a diamond. I want diamonds to be uh, three, three. win and another one they're not so they've got two diamonds and i look like i'm down one here it was four four three doubleton We're down one probably not a great score 53 percent huh. Um, I presume most people are in two no trumps and that goes down. Um, yes. King of Hearts is in the wrong spot. So the opponents can get four. Like, let's say you're in two no trumps. And if they lead a heart, which there's no certainty that the robots do, but if they lead a heart and your ace goes, and then you take a club finesse and that loses. If they find the way to get to their partner's hand, which is like a jack of diamonds, so jack, queen, king, heart through, this hand becomes a nightmare. Um, that being said, it's a much better spot than um, three diamonds is. Um, 
But largely, I was hoping my partner had a fit in diamonds. So if my partner's got a third diamond, which I thought they were a fair chance to do, they've got like the only hand shape where they don't really have one. Um, I went down, but uh, Tuno was the better spot on that. Anyway, a really interesting uh, weekly free instant tournament. Uh, started with 100%, got another one. Loved the play on board number seven. Uh, board number one was also cool about uh, judging where to do, um, whether to bid on, whether to go for them. Uh, board two would be nice if I worked out how to trump with the actual trump suit. And uh, board four, like, I'm sort of surprised that I got um, 11 tricks on this, but I, I found this one really enjoyable. I um, hope you did too. Uh, thanks all for watching. As usual, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters because without them, I wouldn't be able to make this sort of stuff. Uh, so if you like what I want to do, if you like what I do and want to try and support me, uh, check out my Patreon link in uh, the link over there. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.